do lights turn on? Where have dinosaurs gone? Can the wind sing a song? Are there really black swans? Why do people yawn where the stars act on? The questions and adventures never end. La 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 Luna, Luna, Luna. The Waggle Dance. What I made. <laughs> Hi, Clyde. Whoa. <laughs> Hi, cutie. Oh, I know. I missed you today, too. I just have to show you guys something. It's really, really, really fantastic. You're going to love it. Did you understand what happened? Huh? <laughs> I told you a story by dancing. I would have understood better if you told me by talking. No, Jupiter. In ballet, stories are told by dancing. Just like Swan Lake and the Nutcracker. Ugh! That's sour. Hey, where's the honey? Mom always keeps it right here. <laughs> I think I saw it somewhere, but I forgot. Well, let's look for it. <laughs> it's not here either. Um. <gasps> Orange cake! That's my favorite! <gasps> I know! Let's go look in um. the garden. But I didn't take the honey out there. But there are honeybees out there. And where there are honeybees, there's honey. Huh? Because they're the ones that make the honey, Jupiter. The honey. honeybees. Come on, I'll show you. <laughs> Let's find a honeybee. <laughs> hey, where's Jupiter? <laughs> Come on, Jupiter. Let's ask the bees for some honey. Let's ask them from here. They can't come in here and sting us, can they? Honey bees are wild insects. They don't sting to be mean. Come on, I'll make sure you're safe. We won't even get that close to them. I promise. <laughs> Honeybee? Are you trying to tell me there's a honeybee out there? Where is it? We've got to ask her for some honey. Let me see the honeybee. Gotcha! I can't believe it. It's a little honeybee and it's eating my cake. Hurry, go ask him for some honey. Uh, too late. It flew away. I don't think it liked her cake. Let's get the cake and investigate. Do you think she left any marks? But what if there's a bee out there? Not a single honey bee in the garden. I think I just saw another honey bee. <laughs> Hang on. That's not the same honey bee. It's different. <laughs> This one has less stripes. Maybe it's just changed its clothes. Negative, Jupiter. It's a different bee. I'm sure. <laughs> More honeybees? <laughs> what? This we've got to see. <laughs> Feel. Ooh. Wow, it looks like they're dancing ballet. So pretty. But how did all of those honeybees end up here? I wonder if one of them told the other ones about my cake. Let's find out. I just got to know what's happening here. 
What's happening here? What can it mean? This is the greatest thing I've ever seen. What's happening here? Let's figure it out. I just gotta know what this is all about. We just gotta figure out how all these honeybees hmm. ended up on my cake. Hmm. I've got it! Telepathy! Hmm. Tilly what? Telepathy. That's how hmm. aliens communicate. Huh? huh? Aliens! They talk without talking. They talk by thinking. Alien honeybees need all. And you know how we're gonna find out if they can talk telepathically? Yeah. Follow me. <laughs> Our experiment will work like this. If this little honeybee can really talk telepathically, it'll send a message to the other honeybees telling them it's trapped. Then some of its honeybee friends will come here and help it. Ah. Thank you, Clyde. Now all we have to do is wait. <sighs> it's taking so long. Yeah, I guess you're right. Let's let the honeybee go. <laughs> But if honeybees don't talk to each other telepathically, how do they talk if we can't hear them talking? How? <gasps> I know! What if this flight of the honeybees really was a dance? They could be telling each other a story, like in ballet. There's just one way for us to find out. Let's make believe that we're honeybees and fly to the beehive. Yay. It smells so good. It smells like... Honey. <laughs> hey, where did the honey come out? It looks like a dance floor. Amazing! Maybe they're gonna have a birthday party. Oh, but we didn't bring a present. <gasps> it's waggle it's time! It's waggle time! Did someone say waggle time? I can waggle too. Watch. Now you, Clyde. She found something! A sugary something. treat! A piece of orange cake! This is amazing! This is the best experience ever! I brought some cake for you to taste An orange cake that you just can't beat Yeehaw! Wiggle, 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 wiggle Do you see that? They're talking about my cake! They're not talking, <laughs> they're dancing! We're waggle dancing too! She's saying that the cake is nearby. Uh, it's down on the picnic table, in the garden to your right. You'll soon go back for more, uh-huh. She told them the exact location where my cake is by dancing. That is amazing, incredible, spectacular. Wiggle, 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 wiggle,
talking by dancing. Mm -hmm. Need all. <laughs> Jupiter, you have to figure out what Clyde and I are trying to tell you. <laughs> Yay! You want to know where the honey is? I'm going to dance my answer for you. Vroom, vroom, honk, honk. <laughs> vroom, vroom, honk, honk. A truck? The honey's in your little toy truck. <laughs> I wonder if the honey is yellow because honeybees are yellow. Or is it because of the pollen from the flowers? I wonder what kind of flowers bees like the most. Big ones? Little ones? Do all honeybees make honey? So many questions! When Yellow Met Blue Jupiter and Clyde, I finished my drawing. This is our yard. That's the picnic oh. table. Here are trees Ooh. and the flowers. Me, ah. you. And right here on the top, the sun. What do you think? What's wrong? Why are you making those faces? Don't you like my painting? Your green sun looks like, a, like it's an uh -huh. alien uh -huh. sun. Needle! <laughs> Negative, Jupiter. My bright, beautiful, shining sun isn't green. It's... It's green! My sun oh. is green! How can my sun be green if I painted it with yellow paint? Maybe when you went to get the huh. yellow paint, you got the green paint instead. Uh-huh. No, no, no. Negative. I use the yellow paint. I'm sure. Maybe it's magic paint. Uh-huh. <laughs> no. Huh? See? I used yellow, and it's still yellow. It's not magic. Hmm, let me think. If it wasn't magic, then huh? how did my sun turn green? Huh? Very strange. That's strange. Very strange. <laughs> my sun turned green. What was yellow turned green? What do you think could have happened to my picture? What's happening here? I've just got to know. What's happening here? What can it mean? This is the greatest thing I've ever seen. What's happening here? Let's figure it out. I just got to know what this is all about. Hey, Luda, what you doing? Mm. Well, let's see. If I got my son to turn green once, I can do it again. And then maybe I can figure out what happened. Ah, hmm. uh, good idea. <gasps> Did you see that? It's magic. <laughs> <gasps> the blue water turns green. Ooh. <gasps> that means that, that... Ah! Amazing. The colors mix. Is that it? <gasps> That's it! When yellow mixes with blue, it turns green. That's 
so crazy. That's interesting. Very interesting indeed. I know. I got an idea. <laughs> You think quackles will turn green? That's what we're about <laughs> to find out. Well, he didn't turn green. Hmm. Aw. He looked better blue. Hmm. Why did the sun in my painting turn green, but the duck didn't? <laughs> Maybe it only works with pictures. I know. Let's make believe we're inside my painting. Ah. And then we can ask the sun what made it turn green. Yeah, hmm. Dido. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> wow, we're inside your painting. Why? Because I didn't draw the inside of the house, Jupiter. Aw, but I wanted an apple. Luna, you forgot to draw my bed. Look, Luna, there's your green sun. Boys, we better put on our sunglasses if we're gonna talk to the sun. Hey, Mr. Sun, over here. Could we talk to you for a minute? Hi. I thought the sun was cheery. He looks sad. Why are you so sad? I just don't feel much like myself today. I feel a bit, a bit green. I'm much more cheery when I'm yellow. But I painted you yellow. Really, I'm very sure. I don't know why you came out green. I came here to see if you knew why. Well, the yellow paint you used to make me mixed with the blue that you painted the sky. Since the paints were wet... Blue, 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 did somebody say blue? I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Yellow, did I hear? Nobody said red, but I came instead. Ah, they're here, the primary colors. Primary colors? How do you do? I'm yellow. We know you. You're the colors of some melons, egg yolks, passion fruit. The sun? Uh, I mean, sorry, Ooh. Mr. Sun. Mm. Well, but where are green, orange, and purple? By hugging, we all mix, and by mixing, you'll soon see. When yellow hugs blue, then you get the color green. By hugging, we all mix, and by mixing, it is said. You get the color orange when yellow hugs red. By hugging, we all mix, and by mixing, we soon learn that when red hugs blue, then you get the color purple. Hey, yellow, it's me, blue. Come give me a hug. Together, we make the most amazing green that's ever seen. Hey, red, it's yellow. Come here and give me a squeeze. Let's get together and make orange, please. Hey, blue, it's me, red. Come have a dance with me. We mix so well and make the most beautiful purple. mix with a hug just by dancing and spinning. Take a closer look and I think you'll understand. Wow, they're so small. What are they? My pigments. They're what make me blue. And because they're so little, when I meet yellow and we hug, we make green. So when your little pigments meet, they make green. You've got it. Red and yellow turns into orange. Yellow and blue makes green. And red and blue makes purple. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. I really got it. <laughs> now I know how colors mix. Thank you, Mr. Blue. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Mm. 
Ma, me, Jupiter, and Clyde would like to invite you to a very special show. We're going to present to you today the story, When Yellow Met Blue. Hi, Mom. I'm Yellow, and I have lots and lots of little bitty pimentos. He means pigment. Yeah! And I'm the color blue, and I also have pigments. Mr. Yellow, so nice to see you. He's saying that he is the color green. And that yellow and blue make the color green. <laughs> by hugging we all mix, and by mixing you'll soon see. When yellow hugs blue, then you get the color green. By hugging we all mix, and by mixing it is said, you get the color orange when yellow hugs red. By hugging we all mix, and by mixing we soon learn that when red hugs blue, then you get the color purple. Fantastic! Very good! Bravo! <laughs> yellow and blue make green. Red and yellow make orange. Red and blue make purple. I wonder what uh -huh. color purple and green make. And what would happen if we mix all the colors? <sighs> so many questions. Banana seeds. Daddy's garden. It's so nice there, and he grows all sorts of amazing plants like herbs and stuff, huh? Alice! 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 Hi, Luna! Wanna help me plant my bean sprout? I can't right now. I gotta skate. Later! Later! Jupiter, be very careful with my bean sprout, okay? No problem, Luna. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Clyde. <laughs> we should plant bananas next to my bean sprout, and then Daddy can make banana splits whenever he wants. Yeah, mm. Daddy just loves banana splits. Needle. <laughs> All right, let's go get some banana seeds. <laughs> hey, where are the banana seeds? Do you guys see any seeds? I don't. <laughs> Any. Let's all go up to my room and we'll solve this mystery. How do you plant bananas if they don't have seeds? <laughs> I want to see two. <laughs> One at a time. Everyone will get a turn. I wonder if these little bitty black spots are seeds. They're so small. How does a banana grow from these little seeds? Maybe they start really little. I wonder if bananas start as little baby bananas and then grow up into grown-up bananas. I wonder, how do bananas grow? What's happening here? I've just got to know. What's happening here? What can it mean? 
they are the seeds. For this experiment, we're going to need two bananas. Assistant number one, scientist Jupiter, can you hand me one peeled banana, please? Okay. <laughs> scientist Ferret Clyde, please hand me the other banana. Not peeled, mm -hmm. and dig two holes in Daddy's garden, please. <laughs> there, now we just have to wait. Mm -hmm. One of these two is sure to grow into a banana tree. <laughs> I'm sure, Clyde, huh? this'll work. Uh -huh. mm -mm. I don't think it worked, uh -huh. Luna. You're right. Just look how my bean sprout grew. But the bananas? Nothing. Aww. And we waited a whole week. So then, how do bananas grow without seeds? We <laughs> just <laughs> gotta know. <laughs> I know. Let's make believe that we're all bananas. And then we can ask the banana tree. Let's ask this one here. <laughs> Needle. <laughs> We're bananas. Hello, hello, little bananas. Hi. Hi. So, how are you doing? Great. We want to know how to plant bananas. We couldn't find any seeds. Wake up, bananas, little bananas. Big bananas, all bananas, yeah. wake up, wake up! One banana plant grows another banana plant, and one banana plant grows another banana plant. Don't be deceived by what you see. There's no such thing as a banana tree. Where are banana plants? Banana plants. Banana plants. Banana plants. Banana plants don't grow from seeds, but from rhizomes, which grow stems down under the ground. And these stems grow into new banana plants, and that's how... A banana plant grows another banana plant, and one banana plant grows another banana plant. One banana plant grows another banana plant, and one banana plant grows another banana plant. Tell me more about the stem. Is it down in the ground? Right down here. Do you want to see? Yeah, yeah, we do. Woo! Woo! Oh, oh, Luna, I'm scared, Luna. It's so dark. <sighs> Don't be scared. I'm here, and this is gonna be fun. Mr. Banana, excuse me, but what are we gonna do down here? We're going to visit the rhizome. Who? The rhyme zone, Jupiter. He must be a poet. He actually said rhizome. 
What a weird name, huh? Rhizo! <laughs> Mr. Rhizo, we've got company. Hello, Miss Banana. Hi, little bananas. I'm Luna. Hi, Luna. Mr. Rhizo, we want to plant a banana, but we don't know how. Allow me to demystify. Though I don't have seeds, I multiply. I'm just like a banana stem, you see, and new banana plants grow from me. Mr. Rhizon is rhyming. This is amazing! Just plant one of my little sprouts, a new banana plant you'll have no doubt. Please help yourselves. No thank you, Mr. Rhizon. We've already eaten. Mm -mm. <clears throat> <laughs> 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 one banana plant grows another banana plant, and one banana plant grows another banana plant. off these big stems called rhizomes and sprout and grow into new banana plants. <gasps> Alice! Hi, Luna. Am I late? No, you're not. You're just in time. Do you like bananas? I love bananas. Then follow me. You're going to love the show we prepared for you. <laughs> Alice, do you know how to plant <laughs> new banana plants? From seeds? Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, from me, the rhizome. Hang on, Jupiter. It's not time for you yet. Who? Come on, Clyde. Come on, Jupiter. Let's sing our song and teach her all about it. <laughs> Don't be deceived by what you see. There's no such thing as a banana tree. We're banana plants. Banana plants. Banana plants. Banana plants. Bananas don't grow from seeds. One banana plant grows another banana plant. And one banana plant grows another banana plant. Hey, but what about coconuts? They don't have seeds either. <gasps> Neither do pineapples or potatoes. Do potatoes have seeds? I wonder if they're anything like bananas. Ah, <gasps> oh, so many questions. We're gonna need some potatoes. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star. Ah, I just love the nights like this when there are so many stars in the sky. Mm -hmm. I wonder what that star there is called. I wonder if it's friends with that star there. <laughs> Did you know that there's all sorts of planets up in the sky, Jupiter? And there's also aliens and spaceships up in the sky. This is so amazing! The stars are twinkling. It is so pretty. I can twinkle too. Look. I wonder why stars twinkle. Maybe they're really just lights that someone turns on and off and on and off. What makes them twinkle? I know. I know just who can help us find out what's happening here. That's right, Clyde. Edison. He knows everything about stars. I'm sure he can tell us why uh -huh. stars twinkle. Uh -huh. mm. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Edson. How are you? Hello, Luna. I'm well. How are you? I'm great. Do you have lots of letters to deliver? Lots. And you? What are you up to? Where are Clyde and Jupiter? They're at home. I just came down here to ask you something. Why do stars twinkle? 
You think they twinkle, huh? <laughs> the ones I saw last night twinkled. I'm sure. Have you ever done the experiment with a spoon and a cup of water? Uh-uh. I think you'll figure out the answer to your question after you do that experiment. Yeah? Nothing's happening. Luna, hmm. why did you use a spoon that's all bent? Hmm. Negative, Jupiter. Hmm. It's not bent. Hmm. Huh? It must have gotten bent just now. Look. Hmm? That's amazing. Yeah. It looks like the spoon hmm. is bent, but it's really not uh -huh. bent. Hmm. Edson said the stars are like this cup experiment. You know, things aren't always what they look like. <gasps> but what does a spoon have to do with stars? I don't know, but Edson told me that the light changes direction when it passes through uh -huh. water. And there's even a name for it. It's called, um, hold on. Mm -hmm. That's it. It's called refraction. But how does a spoon have anything to do with a star? I don't know. Uh -huh. Maybe the stars blink like the kitchen light. No, Jupiter. That light just doesn't work right. The stars really look more like those pretty holiday lights that twinkle, twinkle, twinkle. <laughs> but why do they twinkle? I just gotta know. What's happening here? What can it mean? This is the greatest thing I've ever seen. What's happening here? Let's figure it out. I just gotta know what this is all about. What's happening here? What can it mean? This is the greatest thing I've ever seen. What's happening here? Let's figure it out. I just gotta know what this to make believe that we're stars. Star Jupiter. Star Clyde. Fasten your seatbelts, cause we're taking off. Uh -huh. Hi Jupiter, my name is Jupiter too. <sighs> Jupiter is so pretty. This is so amazing! This is the best experience ever! Whoa! Whoa! How are you, Star Maria? And your sisters? How are they? We're all well, thank you. Hey, Luna, those stars don't look anything like us. They don't have any points. You're right. How strange. I like our points. And I wonder why none of them are twinkling. Hello. Hi there. Are you a star? Yes, I am. But where are your points? Yeah. From Earth, you have points. Five. Ah, you must be new around here. We stars are actually round. We don't have points. People just think we have points because from far away, our glow looks like it forms points. <gasps> oh, so stars are really round. And they don't have points. But why aren't they twinkling? Do you think she burned out? Burned out? Oh, no. I shine all the time. And stars don't twinkle. <laughs> No? Music time, Sirius! We've got to explain exactly how things work around here. <laughs> la 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 la, stars don't twinkle, no. La 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 la, 
That's just how we glow. How does it go? La 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 la. Stars don't twinkle, no. La 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 la. That's just how we glow. The night sky can be rather deceiving. The stars above aren't really twinkling. From down below, it looks like they are. But that's cause you're all so very far. Like diamonds in the dark night sky. We're so special, you can't deny. So very cool, and now you know. Stars don't twinkle, they just always glow. And they just glow and glow and glow. So la 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 Stars don't stars twinkle, don't twinkle glow. they just always glow. La 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 we stars shine all the time. But for our light to get to Earth, it has to travel through the atmosphere. And it changes directions, so it just looks like we twinkle. It's called refraction. Luda, she said the big word again. Refraction, I heard. Mm-hmm. Exactly, that's it. Just like the spoon in the cup of water. This is so amazing. Have you ever wondered what it's like to travel through the atmosphere as a beam of light? Hmm, I know. Let's go back home as beams of starlight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Do you see that? We changed direction just like starlight. <laughs> Look, now Cloudy the round star, just huh? like the real stars we saw. <laughs> We've got to tell Edson what we found <laughs> out. He's going to be so happy that we figured out the spoon and the cup. Things aren't what they look like. Let's go grab your stuff. Uh -huh. We've got a show to do. Edson, I'm a star, and I want to tell you a little secret. We don't twinkle. Mm -hmm. It only looks like we twinkle mm. because of refraction. <laughs> and what else does Star Luna have to tell me? So many things, Edson. Out in space, stars are really round and they shine all the time. But when we see them from Earth, it looks like they have points. La 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 la, stars don't twinkle, no. La 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 la, that's just how we glow. We don't twinkle. <laughs> It looks like we twinkle, but we don't. That's just how we glow. Huh? Why isn't that star twinkling? I wonder if there's more up there in the sky than stars and planets. I wonder. So many questions. That's just how we glow. on the rings of Saturn. Sing, Luna, sing. Okay, Jupiter. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and... Did he have an umbrella? No. And watch the spider out. Out came the sun and dried out all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the sprout again. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the kitchen wall. Swoosh went the fan and made the spider fall. Up went the fan, no longer did it blow. So the itsy bitsy spider back up the wall to go. <laughs> <laughs> now what do you want to do? I don't know. Wow, look at that. Look how much stuff there's in the sky. Stars, planets, clouds, the moon. Just look at the moon. What a beautiful moon. I want to see the moon. I'm going to find a spaceship. 
Let me know if you find one. Found it. You found a spaceship? No, I found a funny looking planet <laughs> that likes to hoop dance just like you. <laughs> yeah? Look, it's right there. <laughs> wow! I wonder what planet that is. <laughs> I think we have to investigate this. <gasps> You're right, Jupiter. And we should start right now. Let's go get our equipment. That's it. That planet is Saturn. <gasps> so is that thing around it a who? No. Those there are the rings of Saturn. The amazing, perfect, beautiful rings of Saturn. Saturn must have really big fingers to have rings that gigantic. <laughs> Those rings look so smooth. I wonder if you can walk on them. Do you think so? <laughs> I have no idea. Wouldn't it be amazing if you could walk on Saturn's rings or skate on them? I love skating. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder if you really can skate on the rings of Saturn. I just gotta know. What's happening here? What can it mean? This is the greatest thing I've ever seen. What's happening here? Find out if you can skate on Saturn's rings. Let me think. I know. I've got it. Let's make a little mini Saturn and then investigate. Neato. But how are we going to make a mini Saturn? Hmm. We're going to need my super colorful bouncy ball and hoops. Lots and lots of hoops. <laughs> Let's get started. Whoa. First, let's put a hoop around my super brain. Needle, now we have to step on here and see if we can walk on it. No, Jupiter, not yet. Our planet is going to huh. need more hoops before it's ready. Huh. We scientists have to be patient. <laughs> okay, our mini Saturn is all ready. Look how nice it is. Now, we just have to do a little test to find out if we can walk on the rings of Saturn or not. But how are we going to do that? I know. Let's all get on top of the hoops and try to walk. It'll be fun. <laughs> no, we're way too big for our mini Saturn. Here's what we'll do. Clyde, shine your light on our planet, please. It's like this. If Saturn's rings are anything like this first tube, it might be possible to walk on them. Look how strong it is. Exactly, Clyde. This hoop is really stuck on there. But if Saturn's uh -huh. rings are really more like uh -huh. outer hoops here, uh -huh. well then, I don't think you would even uh -huh. be able to stand on them. I think we'd better go find somewhere else to uh -huh. skate, Luna. Negative, uh -huh. Jupiter. Scientists never give up. I know. Let's make believe that we're planets and talk to Saturn and find out in person. Yay, and maybe we can skate. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm so round. Neat all. And I'm all round and furry. <laughs> Clyde, you look like a brown tennis ball. <laughs> look, <laughs> we can spin. <laughs> Saturn. Huh? Saturn is sleeping. At least he doesn't snore. Look, it looks like a skating rink. Right, Luna? We'll have to be really quiet so we don't wake him up. Oh, how dare you disturb Saturn during nap time? What kind of planets are you? What are you doing here? Hello, Mr. Saturn. How do you do? Your rings are so beautiful. Excuse me. One, two, three, four, five, six. <gasps> wow, so many rings. I have many, many rings, but you didn't answer my question. I'm Luna, and that's Jupiter, and that's Clyde. Do you mind if I take some pictures? No, no, no. Only the Hubble telescope takes my pictures. We don't really want pictures anyway. What we really want is to skate on your rings. We just want to skate. You what? You say you want to go skating on my rings? Impossible. Implausible. Don't you know that my rings aren't solid? They're not? How very interesting. It appears you don't know much about me, but that's okay. Allow me to introduce myself. One minute, please. Solar system on the sixth planet from the sun. My name is Saturn, and outer space is so fun. And all these rings you see orbiting around my waist, you'll be surprised to learn they're nothing more than dust, rocks, and ice. And they're all so nice And all these rings you see Orbiting around my waist You'll be surprised to learn They're nothing more than dust Rocks and ice And they're all so nice and definitely can't skate on my rings. As you can see, they are not solid at all. I think you'll understand better if you take a closer look. Do you want to see? Yay! Yes, we do! Needle. Would you like a slow ride or perhaps a fast one? A, a fast, fast one! one. Now that we know all about the rings of Saturn, let's put on a show for a very special audio. into each other, too. Do you think Saturn can change its rings like we change bracelets? Do you think any other planets have rings? So many questions. La, 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 Luna. 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 Earth to Luna. 
where science is happening.